A Woman's Answer to a Man's Question Written by Mary Lathrop Read for LibriVox.org by Megan Kunkel A Woman's Answer to a Man's Question Written in reply to a man's poetic unfolding of what he conceived to be a woman's duty. Do you know you have asked for the costliest thing ever made by the hand above? A woman's heart and a woman's life and a woman's wonderful love? Do you know you have asked for this priceless thing as a child might ask for a toy? Demanding what others have died to win with the reckless dash of a boy. You have written my lesson of duty out. Manlike, you have questioned me. Now stand at the bar of my woman's soul until I shall question thee. You require your mutton shall always be hot, your socks and your shirts shall be whole. I require your heart to be true as God's stars, and as pure as heaven, your soul. You require a cook for your mutton and beef. I require a far better thing. A seamstress you're wanting for stockings and shirts. I look for a man and a king. A king for the beautiful realm called home, and a man that the maker God shall look upon as he did the first and say, It is very good. I am fair and young, but the rose will fade from my soft young cheek one day. Will you love me then mid the falling leaves, as you did mid the bloom of May? Is your heart an ocean so strong and deep I may launch my all in its tide? A loving woman finds heaven or hell on the day she is made a bride. I require all things that are grand and true, all things that a man should be. If you give all this, I would stake my life to be all you demand of me. If you cannot do this, a laundress and cook you can hire with little to pay. But a woman's heart and a woman's life are not to be won that way. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.